Good morning, Print Fan. Happy Tuesday. I had B&I this morning. I woke up late. So, I'm not gonna lie. I logged in on my phone, and while I was getting ready, I just had it played, and then I was able to get out of the office, so by the time it was my presentation, I was good to go. Um, during B&I as well, I redid these heat transfers. I did them the wrong color from like a week ago, so got those ready. Yesterday, I did a hand sanitizer order. They're going to the same company, so I'll be able to deliver those this afternoon, and then I'll be meeting up with the customer that I printed the banner for um, yesterday as well. So most of the stuff is wrapped up for this morning. I also did a business card proof, got that approved and I'm actually gonna have my outsourced company print those business cards just because this customer wants the UV coating, which I don't offer in-house yet, and hopefully for not quite some time, and probably, based off of everyone's feedback, probably never. I need to just outsource the things that I outsource, and if people need a rush, then UV's not an option. So that's kinda how I'm I'm looking at it. I don't, I don't need to own everything. So, I'm just gonna outsource it for the UV coating and it'll be great. So, sent off a pen proof this morning as well and things are looking good. So, hopefully, by this afternoon, we will be ready to start collecting a list of dental companies. Um, I am going to set up a one-to-one. -one. We have a photographer in my BNI group that she specializes specializes in headshots. So I am going to meet with her because she knows a lot of wedding photographers. So I'm going to try to get into that space doing wedding announcements, as I said. So make sure you're subscribed so you can follow along with the journey to hashtag save the print shop. So, let's get started with the day. My name's Darren. Welcome back to the print shop. Let's do this. I've been gone for a good hour. Totally thought these would be done by now. They're not. I scared myself when I came in the office again, just like I did yesterday, because I was like, oh, no, there's like, oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> so, luckily I printed a hundred extra, so if any of them are damaged because of this, then we'll be okay. I didn't mean to print a hundred extra, but I'm sure Justin, won't complain with all the extras that he gets. So I gotta finish up some artwork so that we can get it printed on a Konica. So let's roll it.
All right, we're gonna do an experiment. I have three pages that need to be stapled together. I printed them on 12 by 18s. I cut them on the Duplo. Now we're gonna run them through the printer again to staple them. Here's what I've got, because I don't want to waste my printed sheets. Just got plain paper, and I wrote a one, a two, and a three. And I probably should define this one a little bit better. I'm not left-handed, but there we go. So that way, if I tell the printer to staple, I said to staple the top left corner, and I want to know which way I need to feed the paper for it to come out the other end where I want it to be. So let's try this. All right. Okay, they got it figured out. So the first page, the top goes that way, and the first page goes on top, the second page, and then the third page. And when you go to the finishing, you put staple in right corner, and it comes out looking like this. So you've got Page one, page two, page three. Beautiful! All right, Print Fam, went swimming with the family. Now I'm back. It jammed, well, it didn't jam. It didn't read a registration mark, so it didn't get all the way through the cuts. And it seems about every 50 pages, it does that. So it kind of sucks, but it's not terrible. Um, but I wanted to go over pricing for this job. So we did seven different artwork files. We did uh, the one we're working on now is 150 pieces. It is three pages, two are double-sided, one is single-sided. Um, I charged them $200 for that one. Then we've got, these are all eight and a half by 11 finished pages. Then we've got 150 double-sided. I charged them $80 for that. Then we have 250 double-sided. I charged them 110 for that. And then we had three sets of 250 single-sided. I charged 80 for each of those. And then we had three um, card, cardstock pages. I charged them a dollar a piece for those. So in total, I charged them $633. Now using my cost calculator, which goes through and figures out my click costs and how many pages I need and the sheet costs and the price to run it through the Duplo and all that fun stuff. The first one, the 150 double-sided, so the three sheets, cost me, uh, whoa, cost me $51.58. And then I'm running it through the printer a second time and I was told that I don't get charged to click, but I watch it click. So it's an extra $5 for the clicks to run it through another time. I don't know how much the staples cost me, so 
In reality, it cost me a little bit more than that. For the 150 double-sided, it cost me $20.53. For the 250-piece double-sided, that is $30.88. The three sets of 250 single-sided, each set cost me $22.63. And then the single-sided, um, because I have setups in there, cost me $5.65. So I lost money on the one, but in total, it was $181.48. So it leaves me a profit of $451.53. That does not include my time. Um, in total, I probably put an hour, two hours worth of watching, unjamming, registering, putting them in the boxes, things like that. It also does not include the letterhead boxes, so that's like another $9 worth of boxes. So, not bad. Even if that was the only job I did today, that would equate to about, even with paying myself a minimal wage, about $300 in profit for the business. It just didn't read a registration mark again, so I'm gonna go check it. Um, as far as what else to do today, I'm not sure. Um, thank you for everyone that used my Amazon affiliate link. I'm trying to monitor the temperature in here to see what I need to do, and it is miserable. It is 87 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 30 degrees Celsius. That's in this office. The other office is 90 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's probably like 32 Celsius. I don't know the conversion, so I'm just guessing. It's miserable, but I bought that with the affiliate income, so I appreciate you using the affiliate links. I will link the specific one that I bought. The reason I bought it was because it has an app. Sorry, storage was full. Anyway, there's an app that you can connect to it via Bluetooth, and it has like a 20-day history, so you can watch it over a long period of time and I'm trying to figure out what these temperatures are so that I can figure out the best way to resolve it because I can't even, like this morning I ran the AC all day and it never got below 80 degrees in here. So I've gotta figure something out because I can't afford to spend an extra $250 in electrical every month to keep the AC running, to keep it a decent temperature in here. I'm not trying to keep it nice and cool. I'd love to, if I could, I'd put it at 60. <laughs> but I just don't want to be sweaty as I sit here. So again, I will leave links to it in the description. Thank you for using my affiliate links. Um, I'm gonna see what else we need to do. It is currently 10.30. Like I said, I went swimming with the family, so I'm back out working late, so. Gotta get these brochures all done tonight. All right, Primpane, 1230, it's time to call it. But before I do, it's save the print shop. Hashtag save the print shop. So I had to do what I said I was gonna do. And I spent the last little bit making a list. Um, like I said, I'm gonna try to target dental offices. So I not only looked for dentists, but I looked for orthodontists. 
and in my city, in the city on each side of me, there, at least the ones that looked like they were independent, that were not like part of an existing practice, there were 49 places. Three cities, not like, my city is probably five, six miles by two or three miles. The next city, it's a little bit bigger because it's more of a farming city. So it's probably maybe twice the size. And then the one on the other side is like two or three times. So it's not terrible. I would guess that it's 15 miles. All encompassing. So, 49 offices. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brochure. Full piece of paper. I am going to fold it in half, or not half, fold it in thirds. I am going to hand write the envelopes. I think that is key. Hand write. Because then it's more likely to be opened and paid attention to. Sorry. Um, and with it, I talked to, so we have two dental offices that we do work for right now. One, I guess inside of these dental offices, there's periodontists as well, which is like, I think, implants. Um, and we have one periodontist that we work for right now. And I talked to one of the dental office managers and she said what would be the best thing to get more business because I, I told her, I'm like, I'm struggling. I want to focus on dental offices. What can I do? Like, What would make your life easier? If I was trying to win your business, what would make your life easier? She said, one, bring me free stuff. She's like sticky notes, pens, we love that kind of stuff. Two, do the work for me. So she said, like the things that we buy, we buy pens, we buy business cards, we buy appointment cards, we buy note cards, we do copies, we do envelopes. So she said, do the work for me and show me that you're better. Show me that your pricing is better or show me that you're better in some other way. And do that work and that comparison so I can have all that information just on the sheet. So I can see your print shop versus the other guys or versus UPS or versus Vistaprint, what have you. Because she said doing that work for me, all of a sudden I can see it and she's like, I would likely trust it and or I would verify one of them. And as long as that verification is correct, then I will trust all of them. And so I am, my wife actually, when we first got married, worked for an orthodontist. So I am gonna talk to her about um, some specific products. I'm also gonna talk to the dental, hi, hi I'm so sorry. I'm gonna talk to the dental office manager one more time to see what products she would recommend that I list on it. Um, and we're gonna get that designed up. We're gonna make it pretty and we're gonna mail it out. And again, I am going to hand address the envelopes and stamp the envelopes. I'm not going to use my mailer permit because it, it would make it, I think, less likely for them to engage. And frankly, I'll probably have my wife write it because my handwriting is not that great. Maybe, maybe it'd be open more if it was my handwriting. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe that's something to try. Anyway, it's late. I'm tired. It's time to call it. If you have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, etc., leave those questions down in the comments. Thank you, everyone, for your support and the kindness over the last few days. It's been greatly appreciated. Thank you, Cam, for editing the videos. I won't forget you. I love and appreciate you. If you guys want to support the channel, you can do so with the links down in the description. Patreon, Amazon affiliate, other affiliates, custom orders, etc. If you want to reach out directly, my email is on my website, time to make something.com.
on the schedule for tomorrow is a little bit more research for hashtag save the print shop. We've got some embroidery stuff to get taken care of. I'm not sure. I don't think we'll actually get to the embroidering, but we'll get it ready and going and facilitated. And I don't know what else. So make sure you're subscribed so you can come back tomorrow. Don't forget to like the video. I appreciate you just watching, regardless of supporting, using links, commenting. Because frankly, in the past, I was always a silent YouTuber viewer. I would just watch and enjoy. But I usually, I try to comment now because I know how much it means to the creator. But I do just appreciate you watching. Make sure you share this with friends. I greatly appreciate you. And we'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. Print fam. Huge shout out to our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash TTMS.